Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. It is Monday the 22nd of March. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in the centre of the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're joining live, you'll see a little um, live button on usually the top left hand side so you're welcome to add um, any comments say hi let me know that you're um, around and watching and then I can acknowledge you and say hi back to you <coughs> excuse me if you're watching on catch up or replay YouTube anything like that then you're absolutely welcome to comment and if you have any questions or I can help you in any way just pop them in the comment section and I will review those and get back to you. So thank you for joining me this morning. Morning Jeanette, I've decided to use this stamp set today called Hot Dog and it features what is fairly obviously um, a Dachshund dog um, you could, I guess, make it into slightly other, um, you know, like smaller terrier type dogs, but I think that's with the shape of the ears and everything, that's what it's um, designed as. It's in the January to June catalogue and it's £16. So it's a good value stamp set. Morning, lovely Lynn. And it is photopolymer, so it makes it very easy to line up. And see what you're doing and it has a whole series of other um, embellishments that you can add which are um, really good fun so we have three um, different dogs let me use the stamp set it might be easier to show you morning to you Molly so if I just lift this up hopefully you can see that so I did have a play with this yesterday in our craft and chat session so if you haven't joined us for that it's on every Sunday afternoon between 3 and 4 30 UK time and basically it's an open craft room so it's on zoom I open up the zoom call and we can chat and natter some people were crafting along yesterday um, I'm usually trying something out or prepping something so you get to see um, some of my process in doing that. So yesterday I had a go and inked up this stamp set for the first time and this was... Morning Steffi! Um, this was the card I made um, just very quickly yesterday. So what I like about the stamp set is there's three different dogs. Two are facing each other or could be facing away from each other and you've got a sitting dog as well so on this one I just popped the two dogs stamped the two dogs in an espresso and coloured them in with our Stampin' Blends pens with a combination of colours which I'll talk you through um, I popped the heart in the middle and then stamped the two speech bubbles hi and how are you and I do like this little stamp that does the um, section for the wagging tail, if you can see that. I know it's only a couple of lines, but I know if I did it, it wouldn't look right. So I've just added those on the tails and added a little bit of shading. And this is just um, popped onto a real red card with a black layer behind it. Um, so what I'm going to do today, as I always do for my Monday morning session, is some simple stamping. So I'm going to be using our note cards and envelopes. And these are in basic white. And they are, when they're folded up, they're five inches by three and a half inches. So perfect size for beginners or if you want to create a quick card because there isn't too much space to um, fill in. I'm going to be using some basic white to stamp on because I am going to colour with the blends pens and then I will select some background layers from my box of layers here 
and if I haven't got one that's the right colour I will um, cut one out but hopefully I'll find something in there so we're just going to do some straightforward simple stamping today and then I'll be stepping it up <coughs> excuse me during the week so some of the extra things you get with this um, as you may be able to see obviously we've got the sentiments at the top and how are you and hi in the speech bubble we've got a little beret we've got bows here and here we've got a little um, tag for the collar bones um, cute little paw prints an envelope a heart and a party hat a balloon and a balloon string a bow tie um, and then this one is a dog coat that sits on the top so I will use that in my second card and then this one we believe is a collar um, like the collars they have when they've had an operation so you can apply it on the top usually with a cut out piece of card so let's give this a go I think what I'm going to do is start with um, I think I'm going to start with this one here and have the balloon attached to his tail. I've seen a few people do that. So let's do that and make that a birthday card. So I have some of these um, mounted up already. So this is the sitting dog. And let me grab the balloon ready. It is very cute, isn't it? And I have had it a little while and not had an opportunity to um, use it. So you're not alone, Steffi. And let's find the little um, bow for the bottom of the ribbon. It's this tiny one here. So they are small. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use a piece of card. This is basic white. And I've cut this to three inches by four and a half. I'm going to use my stamping mat underneath it and I've just got a piece of scrap paper on the top. And the stamping mat is because it's a photopolymer stamp and I just want to give it a little bit of cushioning. So I'm going to be using my favourite early espresso. The colour of shame, yes. Although it's not always called a shame, is it? Because sometimes they've had an operation for a very good reason. <laughs> not not in trouble for anything. Let me move my microphone a bit closer. Sorry, because I realised I moved it at the weekend. So I hope everybody had a nice weekend and managed to get something done. I know here in the UK we can't go very far, but um, I hope people did get either get out and about for something or um, you know did some work in the garden or the house or something like that so let's get cracking so I'm thinking actually I might pop this one because I've got the um, balloon to add I might pop this one a little bit in the um, in the portrait. Lynn did some crochet, excellent. So just going to ink this up. I'm not quite sure how much of that you can see. I seem to be a bit lopsided today. So let's bring this over a little bit. Move myself over as well. Okay, make sure that's nicely stamped, so inked up. Let's just try it. Perfect. So it's a really fine line detail stamp. Like so. Voila. And I'm thinking is just to pop the balloon on this may or may not work let's give it a go 
three days in a row. I am indeed, Christine. We have done well, haven't we? So nice to see you this morning. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. Now I'm not doing any masking, so I'm hoping this is going to work. There we go. And then I'm going to use the little bow. Let's see how that stamps. Like so. On top of there. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Well, it did. If I colour in my dog, I think I'll be okay. Just looks a bit messy. Maybe I should have put the... Um, Put that a little bit higher anyway let's give it a go and see and i think we need a birthday sentiment so we've got hot dog it's your birthday so i'm going to use that one but you could obviously use any birthday sentiment let's try a bigger block You'll be pleased to see I'm using my mat, Christine. Okay. Let's give this a go. Oh, some early morning gardening. Excellent. That's very impressive. your birthday I'm going to go in there voila so as I say Monday morning simple stamping so let's add a little bit I've got light crumb cake for the ground just to um, ground our dog here <laughs> and so the colours I used for these dogs here were soft suede, light and dark so this is with our blends pens and a little bit of the bronze for the darker detail here so I'm going to go with that one again um, just so that you can see it so this is dark and this is light soft suede um, the caps on our blends pens are slightly misleading so always double check a that you because you might have put the cap back on the wrong um, pen um, it's very difficult to see the difference between these two tops so I always check the writing on the side as to which one I'm using so what I'm going to do is just come in a little bit of the dark around the edges here where we've got the um, pour behind and then around his or her ear. So, probably do the collar in a different colour. And I'll do that to match the colour of card that I put behind. And I'll do the same with the balloon. So let's have a look and see what colour card I will put behind. So I do happen to have a real red. So I might just stick with that. Or I could do... blue so I've got um, I've got a Bermuda Bay here let me know what you think so let me know which of those two colors Bermuda Bay or real red um, so this is the light one so I'm just going to colour this in with a circular motion like so 
no and then as I come around the edges I tend to feather it from the outside and that just means you're less likely to um, get ink going outside of the edge so for some reason my phone's kicked me off my own site hopefully it will return okay so just circular motion for this if you wanted to make it look like a sort of wire head accent then you could easily add in little flecks of the darker one darker soft suede this is beginning to blend in like so you could also use the brush tip to cover over a wider area like that so let's see if you've chosen any colours for me got two for red one for Bermuda Bay so Let's add that in. There we go. And then his um, or her little nose you could do in black or a dark darker brown so I'm just going to use this is my bronze and I'm just going to literally dot that so tiny you can hardly see it there we go so we've got two red one Bermuda Bay so the red might win it and then it could be a boy or a girl couldn't it The hairy sheet of DSP. The hairy sheet of DSP. You've got me there, Christine. Right, let's grab a uh, real red. So this is a dark real red. And I'm just dotting it in because it's such a small area just use the tip and um, dot that in and then for my um, balloon the same at the bottom and I do like a little comma and color this in and the comma I use to leave My UPS man arriving. Thank you. <laughs> well trained. There we go. So that is dark real red and then if I want to lighten this whole area oh in the pet suite yes I beg your pardon um, I'm going to use my colour lifter just to create a lighter design around here and I might do a little bit lighter around his belly and front there 
Oh, that's decided to leak. I've never had that happen. Okay, let me just check that. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, fingers crossed. The only thing is it might bleed there a little bit, but we'll give it a go and see. No, no, the pet suite is it's um it's still current. That's the one that's retiring shortly. Okay, so very straightforward stamping. You can see how it's lightened up here. And this is going to go onto some real red card. And then onto my note card. So I'm just going to take this away for a minute. And find my bone folder. So these are our note cards and envelopes. And they come ready scored and they come with good quality envelopes. You can get them in basic white and you can also get them in um, very vanilla. So this is going to go onto there and that one is going to go on the top. So very straightforward. Now, because this is um, leaked on here, I'm actually going to redo this one, but I won't redo it live because you've seen me recreate that. What I am going to do though, is add some paw prints on the inside because the paw prints are adorable. So let me grab those and I'll put them on the envelope as well. So we've got paw prints and we've got bones which make great um, just finishing touches. So early espresso back again. So I'm just going to pop these along the bottom like so. Could have them going up the side I guess couldn't you but they are very sweet like so and the same for the envelope okay so this does match really well as um, Christy mentions with the playful pets suite so I will be combining those later on Oh, I'll have to give that one a go. Thank you, Christine. Do a bit of um, paper piecing. There we go. So, <laughs> cute fit prints up the side. Okay, and across the bottom. And as I say, I am going to redo this one. But that will sit on there. And there. Now, if you've got a die cutting machine, you could easily easily use as a die cut layer with a bit of interest um, an interesting border around the edge okay so that is almost <laughs> card number one um, so I will use Bermuda Bay Christine for the next one Yes, it's perfect for a sausage dog owner, isn't it? Or somebody who likes sausage dogs in particular. So let's do um, the same again. Let me find some more white pieces that I put down and now can't find. Under my note card layers. What I wanted to show you is, let me put this back down. I'll adhere this just very lightly so you can see it. Detack that slightly. There we go. So 
so there's that one this one is going to go onto Bermuda Bay and I'm going to use the dog coat on this one so I'm going to do it in landscape and I'm going to use just one of the left or right dogs I think to the right so it's looking towards the um, sort of opening of the card so let me see if I have that one here there we go so it's a cute fun set and you can dress up the dogs as well with the little beret and uh, the collar obviously the um, colour of shame let's pop this back under here there we go I think all that sounds are <laughs> accents are really cute aren't they they're just just by their nature they are cute I did go and have a look at her um her page to have a look let's have this this way and I'll add a little speech bubble to this one there we go and for this one I'm going to add the coat which I'm going to um, colour in and so I'm going to use this little thing here to add a cute little coat so it does fit on both of the dogs whichever, you know, whichever way you want it so I'm going to stamp it in early espresso and then I'm going to colour this in Bermuda Bay. Obviously this is also perfect for fussy cutting and paper piecing. If you want to stamp this on a piece of um, paper, designer paper, pattern paper, background paper, um, and then cut that, that out and add it on to the top. Okay, so we're going to use Bermuda Bay. So let's do our little high in Bermuda Bay. So on this one here, on my practice one, I did it in real red. So let's grab a Bermuda Bay ink pad. and see what this looks like now when you're stamping a full stamp like the high on here you want to make sure that your ink pad isn't too inky otherwise it will um, the ink will run into the the cutout letters okay so I'm going to try this first before I use it Yeah, so that's nice and crisp. I'm happy with that. I am going to clean this off, however. Smooth and a long head. Wow. I think the smooth heads seem to be more popular. I'm right, not going to dry it on my trousers this time. So just looking through so you don't want any little hairs I can see one on there because they really show up on a solid image as we discovered on Friday good morning Carol now here I can see is actually on the other side of the stamp so I would have been all right have a look oh bless it's Jill's grandson's third birthday it's so hard when you can't be there isn't it but the good side of it is you you know there's lots of videos you'll get to watch in the future as well look back on it and I think um, you'll be pleased with Lester's result 
best uh, football club that is. There we go. There's my little hi. So what I'm going to do is my colouring in. I'm going to do it similar to this one, but I'm going to add a Bermuda Bay coat. So let's just bring that in there. There we go. So here's Bermuda Bay. So this is light. Let's get the dark one as well. This is the dark. Oh, it's nearly run out. Look, I, think I better grab a new one of those. Yep, that's definitely on its way out. So I'm not going to look for my new one now. I'm just going to use this one as is. So bring it in from the edges. Like so. Yes, happy birthday, James. <laughs> so, there we go. So, always work, I always work from the edge in rather than going towards the edge because you're less likely to go over. She says. And you know what will happen. I'll go over it now. I definitely need to see if my I've got spare Bermuda Bay pens or not and if not I will order some up there we go and obviously you could decorate that as well add in you know different patterns and the like so there's my Bermuda Bay coat And then let's ground this doggy. Like so. Very happy looking, isn't it? And again, I've got dark and light soft suede I'm using. So let's use the that's bronze light dark so i've had this one since march 19 so it's doing it's doing well so i'm just doing a little bit of darker around the edge of the blanket coat is that's where you might see some shading and a little bit on here yes that's true yes i could go over it with a um with the lighter one again good point let's do this let's make the edge a little bit darker like so, on the top of the head. So again, when you get to a very fine point, just dot it rather than um, stroke it on. There we go. Boom. Then I'm going to use the light one. 
family outdoors in England yet? I don't think we can, not as yet, but I don't, I don't think it's very long. The problem is, um, well, there's twofold. One is the travelling. Um, so meeting outdoors is less of an issue. So in a garden and things like that. But it's the travelling that they don't want you to do. Okay, so circular motion against the darker piece. So just infilling that and then I'll go back in with a little bit more blending. Yes, and I could use the bronze as well, make it even darker. In fact, some Dachshunds are almost a red brown, aren't they? And you could do a... Um, A sort of black and black and white brown and white version as well perhaps I'll be a little bit more adventurous later in the week with some patches and things there we go So just carrying on blending until that's um, blended in and I'm going to add bronze on his or her nose. And then if you wanted um, darker ears I could add in. more of the bronze so basically you can you know carry on coloring that's dark I want light until you're happy with your designs there we go that's enough Okay. Yes, absolutely, Christine. I think we're all um, grateful for those of us that have um, got through that. So this is Light Bermuda Bay. And as um, Linny was saying, you can go back over with the light colour. to create a darker border like so and it will blend out as well there we go oh my goodness that is that is rough Okay, so let us grab our um, card. So I'm going to reuse this one for a minute because I've decided that I like these pins going up. So, very simple. Hi. <laughs> and I'm going to add the pins on the other side. And then I'll do some more paw prints when I redo that one. So let me find the paw prints again. Oh, there they are. And we're done. I need to face that way up. This is very cute. So 
see. Sorry if that's a little bit low for you to see while I'm stamping it. It's because I need it to be sort of right over it. Oh, blue with purple spots, absolutely. Okay, so that is our inside base card. This is how this is going to layer up. So I say, it is simple stamping for today. And I will be um, stepping it up as we go on. So... Just making sure the size of that is good. So let's pop this down onto our layer. So I will be reintroducing Playful Pets. That's the stamp set um, that has the matching papers that Christine was referring to earlier. So I'll be combining it with that. All right, Jill, give him my love, my darling. I hope he has a great birthday. There we go. Voila. So make sure I've got that the right way around. This is just going to sit on the top. Like so. I suppose I could put some bones across the bottom, but I just want to keep these ones straightforward and simple. So there is one. This is the one where it leaks slightly, so I've never had that happen. But it's just a little, it's just bled a little bit too much for my liking. So I am going to redo this one. Um, but those are our cards for today. So I hope you've enjoyed watching those. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, Chris's motorhome has got Bermuda Bay curtains. Perfect. Perfect. And is that pumpkin pie? Or petal pink? <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin pie, I think. Okay, so thank you ladies for joining me this morning. Thanks for your comments and interaction. I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday at 5pm for the next in our series of using hot dog. And then I'll be combining it with a playful pets. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good rest of day and a nice evening. And I look forward to speaking with you and seeing you tomorrow virtually of course take care of yourselves and your loved ones and i hope you can keep crafting thank you so much bye bye <laughs>